Hey guys, it's Charlie from EngineerExcel.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create a VBA function that will keep you from having to recall your most commonly used engineering constants. So stay tuned. User-defined functions can be used for performing calculations, but they can also be used to store constant values. One example of this is the pi function in Excel, where you type equals pi followed by the opening and closing parentheses to return the value of pi to 15 digits. But just like the pi function, we can set up user-defined functions that will store constants like material density, strengths, specific heats, or any number that you need to keep reusing in your spreadsheets over and over again. To get started, we'll open up the Visual Basic Editor and then create a new module. Since I'm going to use this module to store constants in the future, I'm going to give it a name, Mod Constants. Creating a function in VBA is super simple. We simply start by typing function and then the function name. In this case, I'm going to store the yield strength of A36 structural steel. So I'm going to give the function the name sy underscore A36. And then because it doesn't have any arguments, I'm just going to type my opening and closing parentheses. And then I type as double so that it returns a double precision floating point number. Next, I'll enter a comment so I can remember exactly what it is this function is doing and most importantly, the units on the value I'm returning. Comments in VBA start with an apostrophe, so I'll type the apostrophe followed by the comment. Then to complete the function, I simply retype the function name, sy underscore a36, equals the value, which in this case is 250 megapascals. That's it. Now we have our function to return the yield strength of a36 steel. Let's go try it out on the spreadsheet. On the spreadsheet, we can go to any cell, type in equals sy underscore a36, followed by those parentheses, hit enter, and our yield stress is returned to the cell by the formula, which we can see in the formula bar up here. Just remember that if the parentheses are left out, we'll end up getting a name error. Now this wouldn't save any time at all if we had to continuously recreate these functions on each new spreadsheet we work in but we can set things up so that these functions can be reused on every spreadsheet you create using Excel templates. To create a template, select File, and then Save As, and then select a storage location. In this case, I'm just going to select my PC. Then set the file type to Excel Macro Enabled Template. This automatically sets the directory to Documents slash Custom Office Templates. Then give your new template a name, and click Save. Now, if you have Excel pinned to your taskbar, and if you don't, I'll show you what you can do in a minute, but if you've got Excel pinned to the taskbar, right-click on Excel in the taskbar, and the file mytemplate.xltm is in Recents. We can pin it to the top of the jump list, and once you do that, you can easily create any new worksheet with your constants already in it. Just click on the pinned template, and a new Excel window will open. Now instead of book one, the default file name is my template one. And we can test out our function here to make sure that it's in there and returning the constant back to the worksheet. Now if you don't have Excel in the taskbar, first you'll need to open Excel, click New, and then in the template section, click Personal, find the template, and pin it. This video has been brought to you by EngineerExcel.com. If you'd like to learn more about how to solve your tough engineering problems in Excel, sign up for our free Excel training for engineers using the link in the description below, or subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.